cowboys and Indians, settlers and treaties, blah, 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 blah. Like I'll ever remember in 10 years, the Homestead Act of 1862. <laughs> I'm just a white boy, attracted to the color, disconnected from my roots. So I reach for another's, I'm discovering power and beauty in Lakota culture, like the sacred eagle. But I feel like a vulture dancing on the graves and singing the songs. I just want a community where I belong. Grandfather, why did our family come out west? This is not where we came from. How did we get that land that the ranch was on? He says his father, my great-grandfather, brought the family out from Missouri and settled the ranch as a homestead, a free land grant from the government. 270 million acres of stolen Native American land, 10% of the country given to white people for free. First, the army invaded with firearms and fire water, burning death across the plains. Within 10 miles of my family's ranch is a national historic site the Dull Knife Battlefield. Come with me to the bitter end of life at the clandestine campgrounds of Chief Dull Knife. Nestled in a valley of sage and evergreen trees, herds of horses, fire pits, and teepees. Families sleep and the sun begins to rise as the morning quiet is murdered in deafening surprise. Storming, thunder of hooves and battle cries. War songs echo as the first bullet flies. You a soldier riding out of hiding guns blasting. Attacking the Cheyenne village in fast action. The troops hunt men, women, and children. The valley stinks with the stench of killing, 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 killing. Red, 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 red cost the free land. Can you imagine the cost of free land? I now know the history of the ranch and that land in Wyoming. But what went down here in Oakland? Who lived on this land? What happened to them? Digging down. Who? Ha! 1999. Down beneath sidewalk and street. Mall construction disturbs buried bodies. A lonely ancestor sleep for thousands of years. Wake up to the sound of blaring bulldozers scraping their souls into steel boxes. Some bones so toxic they feel like rubber. So drunk off chemical cocktails, they're handled and disposed of as toxic waste. Others buried in unmarked mass graves, hundreds removed from their resting place to create space for the foundation of the new mall. Saying nothing about Ohlone burials, nothing about the thousands of bodies already removed, nor the hundreds that remain, nothing about the vibrant Ohlone community alive today. After all the bloodshed, generations of war, after all the broken treaties of lies and brute force, after 500 years of colonization, the broken backs and heart attacks that built this nation, we stand on stolen land with the past in our hearts and the future in our hands. Are we prepared for the changes of character, breaking the barriers in Native America? How can we carry the legacy and move forward as builders, teachers, artists, healers, warriors?